Um, the first thought is immense fun. I like production and difficulty. I just, nuts, that's nuts, but I do like the difficulty of a lot of hillbillies and a lot of people in a little room and setting up a court circumstance. So what do you do? Well, you put Gerard up on the table. Ooh, that's a good idea. And I just, from there you, you just go. The one hillbilly grabs a chair and, or maybe they tie him in the chair and then they put him in the chair up on the table. That's probably what they did. I don't remember. But that's the kind of thinking that I would go through. And then when they're about to hang Kimball, right? Or they're about to hang someone. And uh, that, uh, Gerard would have been. Well, well, it would have been uh, Gerard, of course. Because they, they thought he had maybe attacked one of the girls, one of the hillbilly girls, yes. I think. So they were. And I remember the mechanics of hanging. What do you use for the platform and everything? Well, I had the grips loosen a three-step that went up to a porch on one of the uh, hillbilly cottages. Uh, cottage is hardly the right word, but. And I remember taking Gerard out to this tree and having these guys grab two of the hillbillies, grab this step unit and stick it under Gerard. That sort of fun brings the reality of the behavior of those hillbillies. And of course, the, the minefield is that they're all talking like, like uh, Beverly Hillbillies, you know? It's just, it's so, such a trap. I don't know if I could modify that or did, but that's certainly my belief now. And Bruce is a little vivid. Bruce Stern is a little vivid. So the, the directorial trick is to take it a little easy with him. And he's a good guy, and I knew him from other shows. So I was able to, I think, hold him a little. Because he tends to get a little juicy. And if he's supposed to be chewing tobacco or something, it's liable to get a little much. So I was able to, I think, contain Bruce into a really solid performance. Uh, the guy who played Kimball, or the guy who played Gerard, Barry Morris. Barry Morris, extremely technically proficient English guy with the English approach. Let's do it, let's do it, how do you want it? Upside down, backwards, I'll do it that way. He was just a joy. And David, I knew at that point, and you know, he felt he was in good hands, which I think he was at that point. I knew, I was beginning to know what I was doing. And it was fun, the difficulty I enjoyed. We were out again in the valley, and uh, with the poison oak or the oak trees or whatever the hell it was. And it was just a lot of fun to do. And directorially, you're, one is, there's a big duality that goes on between the overwhelming external demands of a show. That's a big, big fact. And another big, big fact is that story and those actors. So there, there's a division. And when you mention the, the side of the, ir the irony of Kimball trying Gerard, you hear the first thing I go to is the hillbillies and the oak trees and the hanging and the, and the complexity. So there's always that duality. It, it's interesting. I, I was certainly w aware of the irony and the, and the consequent kindness that the Kimball character would have to bestow on the circumstance, which I guess must have been the point of the whole thing. The doctor comes to the fore and just can't let this happen, even though it's his nemesis, etc. But it was a lot of fun, and I've hit the high points. And uh, who was the little gal? I think she might have been in the Reavers. Was she the little blonde who played the, the maybe rape victim? I remember she was a little juicy, and I tried to simplify her. Good actress, good raw natural kind of lady.